Hello everyone, and welcome to, yet again, another episode of Mass Effect 3. But, it is solely because I'm enjoying, I enjoy this game so fucking much. Oh hey, I got new emails. Oh my god. Okay. From Arya to, oh yeah, Omega. I was like, why do I recognize that name? It's not, like, it's not Liara to, okay. Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see, come see me on the Citadel for the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. From Admiral Hackett. Commander, there is an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. Is this address valid? Who sent it? Oh, Thane! Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages, but got no response. With Earth's comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor... The Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Nuara. Please excuse the moniker as this email's encryption. In my line of work, it's unwise to advertise my location, the, uh, particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before the circumstances force us apart again. Caden! Hey, Shepard! Though, or through some combination of medical, or of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd like to see you if you could spare the time. Counselor Udina offered to make me a specter. Still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room I'm at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. <coughs> hmm. Man been a lot of reading like this reading not like reading subtitles uh my name is jondam bow i'm with uh special tactics and recon while some still have concerns about your past concern or activities with cerberus many of us in stnr took your warnings about the reaper seriously I'm reaching out to you because I have some information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. Uh, if you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd like, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Oh, hey, another one. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. All right. Oh shit, fuel, fuel depot's just straight right here. Ping. Okay. That's so loud. Um, ping. Signal confirmed. Oh wow, they are not fucking around. All right, peace. Something. 
Time to run! Reapers eluded. That's a lot of money. Oops, I clicked off the off the game. Okay, so that's that done. Um, I believe the rescue the students is the one that we just came up with. I don't want to. Thankfully, it's not. I have it set to where it's like. It's loud, but it's just under it peeking into the red. Uh, quickly get some. I don't <coughs> exactly remember why I'm here. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. Hey, Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? 
How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Yeah, but, uh, once again, not exactly afraid of... just doing it. Alright, let's take you. Um, um, and you. What do I pick up here? Oh, this scimitar. Um... Yeah, use that. That's a fucking good gun. Um, actually, I don't want you that. I want... Oh, I don't have a choice in the matter. Okay. I'm the only one who can have everything, which is nice. Um, okay. Uh, the only thing else would be... Um, huh? Do you care to explain exactly what that is? Because I... I'm not entirely understanding. Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Are you expecting trouble? Who's that? Mm. He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Wouldn't want anyone else. Who's that? It's a good, uh, good response there, Rex. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized 
landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? God damn it, Rex. moments ago I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident as would we but you have something valuable to Rex something worth dying for this matter can be resolved but I must insist he remain under guard <clears throat> and if we insist otherwise you'll have another war on your hand if anything goes wrong and all bets are off Thanks, Rex, for actually making that decision. Oh, come on. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Or what? Perhaps don't touch that when something different in your language. I mean... I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. I will. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? <laughs> oh, I love the fact that they gave this guy more than, like, two lines of dialogue. I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Salarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine. If you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzed. We've already been down that road. No more. Oh. <laughs> that was like, what, 10 to 15 lines of dialogue just for, just to tell me to not touch it? Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. Oh. Is that another don't touch that thing? Hey, Rex. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, 
You think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about? Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. <laughs> Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. But Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Oh, boy. Cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. You'd think the Asari could do something about the Reapers. My friend said there was some sort of diplomatic summit, but the Asari wouldn't attend. Did he say why? Apparently they think there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. For once I agree with them. Only a fool would trust the Krogan. Yeah, about that. Hey. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. I don't remember you. I don't recall our meeting. The battle for Vermont. I was a captain back right. then. Right. That mission led to my promotion. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. It's nice to see you, Major. Same to you, Dr. Tassoni. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. How'd you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on Tachanka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say, when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Burmire. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. Yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a friend. A Prothean. Prothean, of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? I mean... What are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. Yeah, no. We're... He's are the Prothean. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? 
I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. There were rumors I was dead, too. You can't believe everything you hear. Except you were dead. Yep. Was I? Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. Another incursion? You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. That would be nice. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. I don't like what I'm hearing. Right. There was an outbound com traffic a few weeks ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission, fully encoded, with no identity signature. No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness team. Rex. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. Could I have Rex? Base personnel must remain on site until further notice. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Hey! Shepard, excellent Morden. timing. Good to have you here. Morden? Eyesight's still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG? Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Mm hmm. That's true. Helped female Krogan, fed information to Clan Erdnot, encouraged political pressure to free female. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes. Last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. 
What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. Objection noted. Mm. Now, please release Krogan. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage Cure. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. All right, here we go. Put all research subjects into immediate lockdown. Watch out, secure. I get it. Don't tell me what to do. Log, Morton Solus, 162.3. Used SCG ties to secure station here. Gained autonomy in caring for Krogan test subjects. Females were obviously dying. Barbaric experiments. Malin's fault. My responsibility to fix. Need to save them. No more. No more dead. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Bomb. Bomb! Get back! Are you alright? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. An emergency exit. I can open it from here. Shepard, Cerberus forces trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry! Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Taking enemy fire. I'm descending hell next floor. Specifically, isn't a um, multiplayer map, but it's like this environment is. Are you fucking kidding me. Can't do it. Oh, duh. Fucking go over here. Let's get in there. 
Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Still such a cool thing. I love the biotic explosions. Cerberus just don't quit, do they? The end of a cycle always marks the beginning of chaos. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. Salarians know their weapons. Go, Commander! I'll cover you! Orion Squad, your orders on a hold position and block access to next checkpoint. We're being blockaded! Commander, make your advance! Taking them head on may not be the best idea. We may be able to strike them! Won't be far. Maybe we can beat Cerberus to it. Well. Somebody told Cerberus about this. They arrived much too quickly. Every war has its traitors.
emergency systems. Yoink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. It was over here. Landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. He has to. I'll see you up top. We found the Krogus. You didn't find shit. You must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. Shepard, she's vulnerable. Fire the fire. Broken can't take much more. I know this is 
sorry. Just watch me. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. <laughs> Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good, hack it out. Uh, it's a big thing. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure. There's no alliance. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen for female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. 
Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Med Bay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Jesus Christ. All right. Talk to me. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. <laughs> Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons. Directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern. But I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. <laughs> all right, where's... Where's Rex? Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh -huh. Thanks, Rex. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, 
Most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. No offense. <laughs> Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Mr. X. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You think Solarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Okay, Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. <sighs> Commander, nice to see you again. Hey, trainer. Are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. And this is just with a skeleton crew. You should see this ship when it's fully staffed. Oh, uh, no, Commander. I'm not complaining. This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie... Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Commander. I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. What do we got? Oh boy. Uh, hi Shepard, it's been a while. Glad you made it off Earth and that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. And I can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how I, it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Hold the line. Fucking it. Uh, Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again in Sarkesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided to our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. 
to that end i wanted to reiterate that stg will be there to help when the need arises regardless of the political climate you were there for us in our hour our hour of need fucking english uh we look forward to returning the favor Essia, sorry, scientist Rana Thanoptis has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Oh boy. Prior to her death, investigators thought Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head which they believe to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and, and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top-secret project for former Spectre Saren Arturis several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials, along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in this case. Ah, from Miranda. I heard your I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they co cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me. Okay. Do some 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 talks. I don't know why that like. I specifically did that for a joke for a couple times, and then the rest of it just kind of it didn't stop. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is it still going? Um. Uh, none of these have anything in them. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful, or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue samples. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. No. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing it. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think, simulate conversation to promote new ideas, maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. All right, I'll talk to them in a second. Oh, um. Okay, I'll talk to them now. Thought Edie would be in here. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you. 
Even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it. But I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tashanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. 
Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and a... I love him. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Deal. God, I love Morton. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicate significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Okay. I'm going to keep going through this. Um, I was planning on maybe doing going to the Citadel and uh, wrapping up there. But based on all of the conversations that we're having, that would end up being too long. So we're just going to have all of the conversations on the Normandy and then we'll call it. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said... Please. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. There you go. No, I love Morton's little bit of neuroticism. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. Mm -hmm. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. 
The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. Nah, Takes real okay. courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with okay. Cerberus now, huh? Thought maybe it was going to get one of the dialogue trees after he said that. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <sighs> I was calling every supply depot station around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the Crucible's primary trigger in my... We barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me la later saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. Cool. Still have nothing really there. Hello again. Hi. Hello again. Hi. Right, there's nothing. None. Okay. A pleasure to see you. Bye, Glyph. So interested in my people, Asari. Protheans are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here. I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian, all were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. <laughs> I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. <laughs> I do not understand that one. Yeah, but he's probably right. Winning against you would be problematic. Hey, just an opinion piece. You don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. Someone's gonna take you seriously. The Asari Republic's vote on stuff like this. We'd all save every world if we could, but we can't. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us in chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it? Don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the map. Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. It's true, though. Take one out to save five. Not easy, but...
Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800 pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you yeah. fly. Probably wise. Yep. I would have done the same. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. All right. Um. Got some updates I could do. Um, but all this. Oh, it is what improved damage. Well, shit. Um. Trying to remember all of the ones that I'm. I have people with. Jeez, stop. Stop with the vibrations, phone. Um. I don't remember which one I. I have those on. Oh, that's the new one. Okay, so five, five, cool. Hey there. Um, I know I've got a bunch of new things here. Weapon damage, headshot damage, yep. Don't need melee damage. Another weapon damage. We'll do that. Okay. Fuck it. Let's I think they're a thousand apiece. Oh, I don't have much for money, though. Oh. Do you have a 10% markup? All right. Oh. Okay. Uh, back to CIC. And save the game. So, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, it's been it's been fun. We've it's been a long long stream. So, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix. And game on.